Yeah, that's better. Hey, y'all. Let's go uh, heat up my old coffee. Looks like the sun's about done with its job for the day. Here on a Thursday. Still barreling toward Christmas, ain't it? You know, they make those old Yeti cups and similar thermoses and all. I remember them old Aladdins. There's one in there above the stove that Papa John had, but it's just something about drinking coffee out of a wide mouth cup. Just right. It's cold weather and man, that north wind is kicking it. I was out here doing a little bit of work and set it down and it didn't take long for it to cool off. So I had to put a, about 900 watts on it in 30 seconds and there we are back again. Coffee pot's up here. I guess I could have walked up there. How are y'all doing this evening? Been a pretty good day. I've uh, had to get out and tackle it tonight. <clears throat> it actually started here on this old place. And when Memo passed, she, uh, of course, I know all of y'all can relate. Uh, normally the grandmother's kind of the glue that holds things together in a family or the grandparents for Christmases and holidays. And this whole place was buzzing with folks about this time of the year. And when she passed, she made, uh, made her kids promise that they'd still gather as a unit, just the kids, immediate family, after she was gone. So they've done this every year. And tonight, just up the road, all the aunts and uncles will be gathering to celebrate family and Christmas tonight. The rest of us aren't necessarily invited. It's not to slight us. It's just there's too many of us. <laughs> it gets uh, gets to be a web pretty quick. So just easier to keep it simple like that down at my uh, cousin Donna's house. So I know they'll have a good time. I was looking at the yard, the front yard. Of course, it's too big to rake this whole place. But uh, under that old magnolia tree, of course, some leaves and pine straw. And, Got a thing. I said, well, all the folks that grew up here are going to be passing by here today, so I better get after it and get this cleaned up or Memo will not be happy. So <laughs> they had a old home place that's looking a lot better than it used to over the last few years to drive by as they surely are walking down memory lane tonight. But uh, it's been a good day. So didn't have any sales calls today, so I was able to get some stuff done around the house. I think... Uh, Let's see here. I have a buddy coming on this evening. I don't know where. Uh, I don't see it there. Maybe he'll pop up here in a minute. But a good friend of mine out of Waco, Texas. I uh, I did complete my mission this morning. Uh, thanks to my good friend uh, down south. Of course, sent a gift card. And y'all remember I, I saw that so it just put right in my face. Poor fella eating out of the trash can. So. Uh, I, I'll be honest, I, was, I couldn't use that gift card in good conscience. So uh, I went down there. I think it was a couple of hours of sitting there before he finally came by. But of course, he didn't know what to think, but we blessed him with a little bit this afternoon or this morning. So maybe it'll help him through today. There's my buddy Tim. Let's see if I can. I don't know what's going on here, brother. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get this thing. I thought I had that turned on, and I don't. Tim, you might have to log back off and come back in, brother. I'm not. I see your name, but it won't let me add you. So I guess I'll just ramble on in the meantime. But I wanted to share some things with a good buddy down Waco, Central Texas way, if he can get on. But uh, no, uh, back to the, the fellow downtown. He he took it graciously, but uh, I'm sure he's used to being a little suspect. Maybe the Lord will bless him good this holiday and keep him warm and fed and hope. That's a lot of it, just surviving to the next minute. But uh, I'm give Tim another minute here to come on. If not, we'll roll on to something else. Oh, I did get a big brown truck visit today and that was cool. Uh, a friend out in Cleburne, Sandra, uh, told me she had a little gift coming. I thought I knew what it was and it was. Boy, howdy. I'm going to utilize some of that coffee here in just a minute get into it again but big old loaf of banana nut bread homemade don't that go right with a good cold evening and a hot cup of coffee <laughs> i believe so all right let's see here old buddy tim on here yeah hey boy you get your hot cup of coffee man that just fixed everything up bear with me joe let me get it straight now here brother <laughs> Hey, there we go. I'm sitting on the back porch with you live, man. What's going on, John? Well, 
Well, I still hear a little echo. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, Tim is, uh, Tim is a good friend of mine. I'm gonna hop off because I think I am messing your audio up from what your folks are saying. Sounds not working right, and I'm messing you all up. Okay, man. We'll, okay, man. We'll, 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 try we'll, we'll try. We'll try it one more time. We'll try it one more time. You keep rattling on. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> and there he goes. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to pull in a few folks and share a few stories and. Uh, of course, we had a little trouble with my buddy Tony last time he was on here in the studio. He just dropped a Christmas album out. He's giving it away, uh, acoustic album. I think I shared it on the page earlier today. It's a good little old album, so y'all check it out. It'll, it'll put you in the mood of Christmas for sure. And, uh, of course, everybody's in the festive spirit. And a good friend of Donna Gatlin's got a Christmas album out. And it's always cool to, to hear the standards, but also to hear maybe a few new ones. Uh, Y'all ready for Christmas? Almost. Well, you know me, I hadn't even started shopping. It's too early. What is this, the 20th? We got five. Oh, man, it's almost a week. I got plenty of time. <laughs> Just like a man, ain't it? <laughs> I'll get it, though. I uh, got a big Christmas gift coming tomorrow. About noon, my daughter Faith will be stateside here in her native Texas. And uh, we'll be meeting up with her in Huntington, excited about spending a few days with her. And I'm sure she'll be coming out here to the old thinking spot under this tree. And, and uh, that's what Christmas is about, though, isn't it? Is, is the uh, the memories and the family and, and the good stuff. Let me see. We'll try Tim one more time, see if that'll work. All right. Come on, Tim. See if we can pull it off this time. <laughs> There's my Aunt Pat. All right. Hi, Donna. How are you? Let's see. He's coming in. I'm going to give it just a minute here. Don't y'all just know how good he is. <laughs> All right. How are you, are you there? I don't know. Is it better? I, you know what? You sound kind of normal. Oh, I got the cameras over here on this side. Well, that works out pretty <laughs> good. I had to go get yeah, my iPad out of the house. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. See if that well, hey, uh, so let's let's try this. So I want to talk a little bit about Tim. Of course, we were both in the country music scene. I was in the radio side of it, the interview, and he was in the uh, in the uh, photography end of it. But uh, had a lot of good times, seen a lot of stuff, good and bad. And uh, but we made a lot of good friendships through that time. But you know, we noticed Tim. You and I was talking here a few weeks back, and we know I, I know your heart beats like mine in that. We want to be a, a bright spot in people's world. And as much as we try, Amen. sometimes a few of them passed us right next to us. Um, you remember that story we was talking about, about that old boy that uh, he's both our friends. Uh, pretty good attitude, always had a smile on his face, and you never know he was suffering on so many levels. Um, man. Yeah, you know, I tell you what, that there'll be po you just never know, man, that there'll be people that'll be right beside you. Yeah. You know, folks, you're, you're, you're living life with. You know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. This cat, just, uh, boy, I tell you what, he, he, he was a pace setter. He was a <laughs> go-getter, you know, and everybody knew that, you know. Yep. And, and uh, man, if, if you didn't like him, well, <laughs> maybe there was something wrong with you, you know. <laughs> and, um, and then we and found he, out he was sitting at the house with no electricity, no water. Yeah, you know, just finding out he was in he, he was in a pickle. Things done got rough. Showing up, no power, no yeah. water. Think about but that you, for a minute. Yeah, but you, you know what's cool yeah. when we found out of course he, he pulled himself up. Uh but I, I think the best part of that story, we hear that so often times with a tragic ending and uh, you know, somebody that's hopeless and just checks out and uh, we all regret that we didn't reach out. But of course he's uh he's doing well now, actually I I uh, know that for a fact. 
But uh, I tell you what, I have talked to this individual recently, and he is just he, he seems to be doing fine in the frog hair slip four ways. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> and you know what? But for, knowing what knowing what he was going through, and stepping back and you look at that, and to be doing as well as he is now, and I don't mean physically, Joe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you, you feel his heart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you talk to him, and you hear the man's passion, and you still you still hear the same love. Now, look, this cat could have been better. Yeah. He could have had side breaks, ain't no doubt. But he, <laughs> man, he got right back up, man. He just went just went back to pedaling right along. Yeah. I, I think I'm still ahead of him because I got a big old pretty moon behind me out here in this country. So I'm, I'm still ahead of him. <laughs> it, it, it's a beautiful night. It's a little chilly sitting out here on the back porch, but. Hey, Tim, so, so I'm going to let you talk just a minute. This is a good friend of mine, y'all. Um, lives out in Central Texas, a Georgia native, but calls Texas home and proud to do so. But um, the thing the thing I think that we took away from that whole situation, we've talked about it several times, is when you, when you have those people cross your mind just in a day's time, and a lot of it's happening right now. I know all of you today um, have had different friends cross your mind that maybe you hadn't contacted in a while. You don't have to fix it for them. But give them a call and just let them talk, you know. Don't you think, Tim? Man, and, and, and I'm not always good at that because I am a talker, that's for sure. You know, <laughs> but but I, I'm trying to look at a you know, You're giving two leaders to count. And that before, right. you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's just listen to them, man. That's, that's just sometimes folks need to know that there's somebody that cares. It yeah. Does. No, and that that's that's right because um, and you're probably not going to be able to make an impact on their situation, whatever it is. But what you can do is simply be an ear. And most of them, their pride's not going to even let them tell you what's going on. But I guarantee you, when they hang up that phone, they know that somebody out there cares enough to at least talk to them. You know, and that that's monumental. So don't let the fact that you can't maybe help them stop you from calling and trying. You know, and, and we tell people that all the time, man. And, and, you know, again, both of us being involved in the music business, we see some dark souls from time to time. And, and we're always quick to say, hey, look, it's okay to not be okay. And, and we're always encouraging folks, you know, if, if, if things ain't so swell, give me a shout, man. Yeah. That's just sometimes it's just what you need. Yeah. And, you know, and, and the problem may – here's something else, Joe. The problem may not be right now. Yeah. But you know what? If you just say hey to a friend every once in a while, yep. if the problem does come up, maybe they'll know they can pick up the phone and say, "Hey, man, yeah, how you been? Yeah, you just been." And you and I've been in those times in our life where we might just need to call somebody just to change our mindset. You know, um, not looking for help. Oh. Just uh, we just got <laughs> we need somebody to hear us breathe, man. <laughs> you know, golly, I, I am so thankful. There's 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 a few I've, I have a handful of friends. Dill, I'm, I'm gonna put you on that hand, man. Uh, I've I've hit some pretty dark times, and you know what? I hit I hit some pretty dark times here recently. You know, and yeah, one thing caused me to reach out for another, and just be glad you did. You are just glad you did. So yeah, without, yeah. Well, hey, I saw you up a. Uh, uh, the Larry Joe Taylor Fest area up in that, that part of the country the other day. And I, I got to tell you, I was really enjoying it. You was watching that sunrise, and you was like, man, you was beside – you was looking straight at God, wasn't you? <laughs> you know, you have those moments sometimes, Joe. And, and, yep. And, yep. and uh, I got up that morning, and it, it, it had been a pretty heavy weekend. I was there with some, with some great friends up on Melody Mountain. And, uh, man, I had some things God was talking to me about, you know, and uh, getting in my heart a little bit. And, and that's yeah. been tough for 45 years to open the door and say, hey, man, you know, <laughs> have that conversation. Yeah. And, uh, and that was just one of those times where I just kind of woke up and went outside and the sun was shining. Me and Gary Brown was fishing to hook that thing up and drag it off the mountain. And, and it's like God just said, you just need to shut your mouth, stand here and look at this for a minute. Yeah. And that's what it did. I took it all in. Gotta, hey, you can't, you, let me interrupt you. You can't, you can't see the comments, but we got a superstar photographer watching. Old Rock Will. Right there. Rock, see? Yeah, I see. Yeah. That's my buddy right there. You know, Rock, how about that? Small world. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah. Brought to a good dude. Brought a good guy, man. I met him down in Temple on a Neil McCoy concert, I believe it was, where I met him. But, uh, yeah. Well, let me uh, – I don't know if you can see everybody, Tim, but I need to do a roll call real quick. There's Troy and Conroe and Sandra. Let's see, Donna's checking in and Margaret. I feel like old Neil McCoy. Boy, he's got it down, don't he? He goes to rattling oh, yeah. off this team. <laughs> you ever watch him in the morning doing that Pledge of Allegiance? I have. Yeah. I have. <laughs> I have. 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 I can't do it, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, it has been with you. Now I'm thinking about Neil Coy. I can't even do it, brother. <laughs> but you, you was doing good. Are you going through your – I can't see you live. Yeah, I'm going through all the comments. There's Melinda Earl. And, hey, there's Tim Murphy. Look at there. Tim's on here. And he they came and went. I see Peter Christian's watching. Denny Soto, he's talking about Rock Williams being just a rock star photographer. Yeah. Uh, Danny Soto right there. There's another one down in San Antonio just holding it down right there. Yeah. i tell you who else I see is watching a good good friend of mine. And I wish we were a little bit closer and talked more, but old Steve Peters, that's a good soul right there. I love that man. Yeah. That guy saved my life, and he don't even know it. Yeah. There's Donna. Let's see. I think I got everybody. There's Susan. Everybody's saying hello to you, Tim, so I guess wave. You can't holler them all out. Uh, <laughs> hello, man, everybody. There's just too many. Hey, y'all. <laughs> We'll just do it like that. <laughs> well, yeah. good. well, brother, I'm, I uh, hope y'all have a good Christmas. I got your uh, Christmas card off in the mail today. And you know, I, I sent y'all a gift card. All right. So I went ahead and got the ones. I, I just picked a generic one out. It's, it's got the amount on it. So you'll know how much to load it with. Copy that. I got I didn't put you. nothing I'm... on it. I didn't want to mess it up. It's just, right. it's, it's a you blank gift card. I can put it back on. <laughs> yeah, you can put whatever you want on it. So, do you need no, me to send that back to you? No, no, you can use it. So, I'm just <laughs> saving your trip. So, <laughs> man, I still have to appreciate it. Ain't no doubt. Belinda Earl, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> hey, y'all. Listen, man, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to let you finish up, man. Hey, you know, if I could leave anything with you. You know, here we are in the holidays, and, you know, and, and we are just talking about that friend of ours, and I know you're talking about, you know, the other guy that, that was, uh, you know, just having the sandwich and everything, and, and, and yeah. you, you know, we talked about that a little bit. Man, and I'm guilty of this, too. We, we see them folks, they walking by, and the first thing we think is, oh, that cat ain't going to do nothing. He just ain't yeah. doing nothing for money. Yeah. You know what it is? I ain't telling you, I ain't encouraging bad activity in certain places, but I don't know if it is for us to judge. And I was reminded of that this morning. You know, judge not lest you be judged. I, I was yeah. reminded of that. Yeah. You know, just uh, love each other, man. That's what it's all about. Love, peace, and chicken grease, baby. That's what I got. Yeah, so, man, that's good stuff. Love you, brother. And we'll be checking in with you soon. Everybody, thank y'all for having me on, man. I enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one. Merry Christmas. Christmas. All right, brother. Merry Christmas. All right, y'all. That's uh, my good buddy, Tim Murphy, Central Texas. And, uh, You'll see a few of his photographs around. But uh, look who done climbed up on a tree behind me, y'all. Say hello, Jordan. <laughs> He's excited. He's been working all day. So uh, I guess I need to get off of here, and we'll probably go in there. And I, He's got some Christmas gifts all wrapped up. He's got to send up north to uh, family up there. Someone help him get those packed up and in the wind. Oh, he's already got them on the way. Well, look at there. He's on top of it. Well, y'all have a good evening. Uh, I guess next round we'll have Miss Faith on. I'm looking forward to her being here and, and uh, for Christmas. Wish all my kids were. But, uh, life moves on. Everybody's got different responsibilities. So Christmas is in your heart, isn't it? So we can all be home for Christmas in that context. Y'all have a good evening. Be the light, and we'll talk to you later.